Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm out and about in a bit of a walk and I decided that it's time for me to record the intro to my annual video when I look back at the previous year. And instead of just looking at images and, you know, reviewing the images, I always look back at the year and see what the year has taught me. This year has been a very interesting year overall. There's been a lot that's happened. So I've kind of put a bit of a montage together and I'll show you exactly what 2022 has taught me. During this year, I was very lucky to be able to take three incredible road trips with my partner in crime, Dermot O'Donovan. And our first was to my favourite place to photograph, Dingle in Kerry. And even though we had a short enough trip there, we had clear skies for 90% of the time, we still managed to get some great shots and share it with other local photographers, Dave and Robert. And all in the middle of the most beautiful areas and scenery in Ireland. Next, it was time for a kind of international trip over to Scotland, and more specifically to the Isle of Skye. And to say that this location was stunning is an understatement. Now, Dermot had some unfinished business here, and I'm delighted to report that not only did he fulfill his needs, we both got some incredible shots and memories. And finally, it was time to go back on the road to hit the northern coast of Ireland and explore the many stunning locations that are on offer there. Now, what made these trips all the better was that we were able to drive and stay in the van and live the van life to its best. Arriving at the sunrise location the night before, parking up, having food and drinks and then rolling out in the morning already on site is something that I would highly recommend. It's something that is hard to beat and thanks again to Dermot for allowing me to crash with him. Twenty twenty two will also be the year that I remember with quite a considerable amount of pain and discomfort. I've had a bad back for a while, but in twenty twenty two it got consistently worse, so I ended up going for an MRI and discovered that I had a herniated disc, which would explain the massive amount of discomfort that I'd endured during the year. Now perhaps carrying over ten kg in my back for many photography adventures didn't help this. However, what I now need to do, besides trying to rehabilitate, is to look at reducing the overall weight I carry and this will mean me either strategically changing my gear or bringing less with me. But one thing for certain is that I'm not going to let it stop me getting out, hiking and exploring the many beautiful areas that I have planned to visit next year. I'll just have to take it easy and take each step at a time, albeit lighter steps hopefully. Honeypot locations are called just that for a reason, and 2022 saw me visit many. And even though I prefer to forge my own trails and shots, I would also now say that you shouldn't rule out such locations as you can get your own version of a well-photographed locations in the conditions that you encounter, and put your own spin on them. The Isle of Skye, for example, is packed full of icons, and while visiting there for the first time, I was happy to know that they were there, and that a great shot existed even before we drove one kilometre. The same was true for the Causeway Coast. However, the difference being that the light and conditions are constantly changing, and even though it's good to stand in the spot as others as such, you will get your own unique shot and, of course, memories of what it felt like to stand there at that moment. So don't be put off by the fact that others have shot the same there before you. The simple fact is that they are new to you and you can enjoy them for yourself just as much. I remember a number of years back Adam Gibbs saying that expectations mostly deliver disappointment and I felt this a number of times during 2022. You build yourself up looking at the weather forecast in advance and even right up to the point of arrival expectations can be high but as a landscape photographer you know in your heart of hearts that you are at the mercy of the weather to deliver the light needed to make the shot as epic as you imagined it. If we all got the conditions we expected every time, then I guess the feeling of the hunt wouldn't be so strong in the end. In contrast to this, I have found that having low expectations of a location generally can deliver good results. Perhaps because they were low in the first place, so it would be hard to be disappointed, or most likely because you didn't put the pressure on yourself for that location, and then the images or conditions found you. All in all, I've learned to go into a location with an open mind, and nine times out of ten, you will come back with a shot that exceeded your expectations, because you had none to begin with.
Now it seems that almost every year I have said that bad conditions do not exist in landscape photography and there's always a shot to be had and 2022 has been no different. At this stage we should now know that the best light comes after rain. However, even when I had zero clouds for my trip to Dingle, I still managed to get some great light conditions and shots of course. So yes, keep an eye on the weather for sure, as you will of course want to get out in the very best conditions for the location. But remember, if it all turns bad, you can still get a shot. You just need to stick with it, use the conditions to your advantage, and of course, be creative in your vision. Try not to be put off by bad conditions. They don't exist in landscape photography, and there's always a shot to be had. So that's the five things that 2022 has taught me. And I do hope that you've enjoyed number one coming along in the journey with me, but also my synopsis of the year gone by. I'm really looking forward now to 2023 and I hope that you can join me on those adventures. I'm going to leave you now with a selection of images from my year. And as always, thank you very much for joining. And to all the new subscribers that have joined me in 2022, I hope to see you in 2023. Thank you very much and Shlong Gafol.